Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Canic TTI Combat collaboration with Terran Tactical and Canic to create this handgun. Seems to offer a lot. It really blew the internet up when it was launched a couple weeks ago and people said they, they like what it offers. I like what it offers too, but I recently reviewed the Canic SFX Rival S, the all steel frame, and they go right around the same price. You're looking at about a grand for this and the same cost for the SFX Rival S. I don't know. I think uh, I think they're both cool. They're both different. They, they offer various things. And the main thing that this uh, I see that sets it apart is that it is compensated. So it does have a compensator in there that will divert the gases upward and a fluted barrel right there. And you always know if it's compensated when the front sight is moved forward on the slide to make room for that compensator to divert those gases. But it ships with a couple 18 round mags, another one with a plus two base plate they changed the grip texturing it's a little more aggressive throughout comes with a couple additional back straps it has this flared mag well for for quick mag changes and then the cerakote is called tti bronze all right i think it looks pretty cool they did a nice job it looks actually it looks really cool I think I, I like the way it looks. They did a nice job with that. And the compensated thing, that, that seems to be like the flavor that many manufacturers are going with. It definitely does reduce the recoil. The downside is that it's much louder. Okay, so if you're going to use it for a home defense gun, you can expect the compensator to create a noisy firearm. I will tell you, it is louder with a compensator. Okay, so the barrel is ported. The sights are serrated black, fiber optic, front sight, and of course it's optic ready. Now some of these come with the mechanic optic that looks like a nice optic. Okay, the, the window is large, it's a 3M MOA dot, shake awake. It, it looks like a pretty nice optic. And then, you know, you, if you go with that one, it's gonna be a little bit more. They did an amazing job with the trigger. It is an extremely nice trigger, no doubt about it. It's a flat face trigger, it is aluminum. It breaks right at 3.1 pounds with a reset that is very short, extremely short. You usually see resets that short on like 1911s. That is extremely short. They call it diamond cut and diamond cut triggers you know, it has nothing to do with a diamond. It is primarily with ARs and the Remington 700. Then they started moving it to, to handguns like this. A diamond cut trigger is just a very lightweight, short travel trigger. And they have it with the TTI Combat. If you go with this, you'll see this big case right here with three levels. First is the paperwork. Then here we have an additional magazine that is, looks like it has that plus two base plate on there. So that, that holds a little bit more. This here that has some, some tools, a couple optic plates, and over here are a couple different back straps and you look at this other level. A holster that is heavily textured, right? And then this medallion that they give you. Okay, it says Canic on there, a speed loader, a lock, an additional recoil spring, a punch, a, a patch tool, and a bore brush. Some will include a mechanic optic. This one does not, but some will include that, and then the price will reflect that as well. So it's a big case, much like the Canic SFX Rival S, the steel frame. To disassemble it, I actually like the process because many manufacturers are going this route. You just use those takedown levers, let it go back into place, pull the trigger, and then off comes the slide from the frame. You, know, you just pull it off. And here you have a single recoil spring, and then they have that additional recoil spring. Okay, I'm wondering if that's 
something you'd use if shooting suppressed, I'm thinking so. And then you'd have to take the compensator off and you'd have a threaded barrel. So you could do that. That that's that's essentially what the other recoil spring is for. They put a different recoil spring in there for suppressed shooting. And then to put it back on, you just put it in this position and charge the slide. It has a cock striker indicator and serrated slide stops. And I said stops, plural. It's on both sides. And the magazine release, which is extended, can be switched over to the other side as well. Has that raised bar there so that you can see if you have a loaded round. And much like the Rival series, it has those serrations that also are on the barrel. That's for aesthetics. You really don't get any usage out of that but it certainly looks cool. Is it worth a grand to you? Do you think you would go with this or would you go with the, for that amount of money, the SFX Rival Steel? I would go with the steel. I love the way that looks and I love the, the weight behind it. But if you want a, a gun that you're going to compete with, perhaps a little bit lighter, that offers very low recoil shooting, perhaps you'd choose this. I don't know. I kind of fell in love with the SFX Rival Steel. I just think that thing is awesome. But this is the flavor that many people are talking about in terms of Canic. They love it. Once again, you're looking at about a grand. 4.6 inch barrel, by the way. 4.6 inch barrel. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.